you a little bit. All right, the impressive downtown expansion, the emphasis on computer science, and of course, all the football team success. We're talking about UTSA and the growth and the future of the university. Go Roadrunners. Joining us in today's leading essay segment is UTSA president, Dr. Taylor Amy. Good morning, sir. Thank you so much for joining us. Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Max, and good morning, San Antonio. It's a pleasure to join KSAT this morning. Thanks. Well, thank you for joining us. Now, you just unveiled the opening of San Pedro One, part of the downtown expansion. Big picture, how important is this not only to UTSA, but to all of downtown San Antonio? We uh, believe deeply in our urban serving mission as a, a university. Um, uh, the city of San Antonio and Bear County are really strategic partners for us. And we're all in on this concept of who we educate and how we educate. Uh, we're deep believers in this notion that a four-year degree is one of the greatest equalizers and, and so important to affect trajectories. But we also care about helping the San Antonio, San Antonio economy grow. And we're really excited about supporting data science, cyber, AI, those kinds of things as we grow our economy here in San Antonio, because we want to keep the kids here in San Antonio after they graduate from UTSA. So, Dr. Amy, what comes next in terms of expanding UTSA's growth downtown? Yeah, you might have. Uh, thank you, by the way, for covering our event the other day. That was very special. Uh, we talked about San Pedro 2 coming. It's the property right across San Pedro Creek from San Pedro 1. That is going to be a very, very large and impressive building that focuses on expanding the kinds of things that we're doing in San Pedro 1, but also with a focus on experiential learning and on uh, 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 things related to uh, getting our young people out in the community learning uh, in, in internships and things like that. So it's going to have a very important uh, uh, additional focus for us as we continue to uh, place make downtown and as we continue to prepare the future workforce for San Antonio. And data science, cybersecurity, and, and so many more technology jobs. It's been such a top priority for UTSA. And what does that collaboration look like between UTSA and local businesses like Port San Antonio, the military? Oh, there, there are some very special ecosystems here in, in San Antonio. We have a huge national security ecosystem here. We have a big health and healthcare provision and health informatics uh, uh, focus. We have a huge manufacturing focus. All of these things are important to the future of San Antonio. I am really delighted in the things I get to do with greater SATX and Jenna Soceda Herrera's efforts around growing our economy here. Uh, we are really deeply aligned with that effort because the things that we're focusing on on the two buildings on San Pedro Creek are directly tied to the economies that we're trying to grow here in San Antonio. And so we work closely with USAA, with HEB, with Valero, with New Star, with Rackspace, all of these companies are really important to us and where we're going. We work closely with the military and with NSA Texas and Port San Antonio. All of that is very important to our ecosystem that we have here around national security. It's a, it's a pleasant challenge to have all of these strategic partnerships that we work together with to grow economic development so that the kids that we graduate from all of our universities can stay here in San Antonio and help the San Antonio economy. Dr. Amy, we are big Roadrunners fans here on GMSA. So what has the football program and Coach Jeff Trailer's success meant for the growth of the school? Well, you know, I'm delighted in my AD, Dr. Lisa Campos. She's hired some awesome coaches. Coach Pittman, Coach Aston, uh, Coach Price Torak, uh, uh, Coach Hallmark. They've all brought intense focus on developing cultures around preparing young people to be student athletes and then to go out into the world and make it a better place. And the culture uh, that they have around each of their sports is really, really noticeable. And it is especially so for, for Coach Trailer and the culture he's created around uh, let's go 2-1-0 and the triangle of toughness. And we're just grateful for that. I can't tell you the impact that athletics has had on where we're going as a university. The, the city of San Antonio has adopted us Texas has adopted us. We're making moves at a national scale now that are uh, very, very impactful. And I, I do want to give my colleagues in athletics a shout out. They work so hard to move the, the needle on 
becoming a, a, bi a bigger operation. We look forward to moving into the American Athletic Conference. And I'm proud to say that Coach Trailer is joining us tomorrow on the MLK March. He's going to be speaking at noon at the end of the March. And so if you want to hear him again, come on over to the March. The March is important, but, but Coach Trailer will be speaking at the end of the March. We will be out there for sure. Last question for you. San Antonio has so much young talent, and we're seeing more and more advanced learning programs at earlier ages. You know, you alluded to it a little bit, but what exactly is the school doing to keep this young talent, especially in terms of cybersecurity? How are you keeping this young talent here in the Alamo City? You know, we collaborate with the ISDs uh, around dual enrollment programs, uh, early co college career programs. We work closely with Alamo colleges around making transfer from Alamo colleges to UTSA so seamless. And that's a really important partnership for us. But we have a huge focus on experiential learning. Our accrediting body um, requires us every 10 years to have a quality enhancement plan in place to really make a difference in what we do. And we focused on career engaged learning, experiential learning. We want all of our roadrunners taking advantage of all the opportunities we have here in San Antonio to work while they go to school with paid internships in particular. And if you can have that program in place for all of our roadrunners, the, the chance of keeping these roadrunners here in San Antonio, because they've already got a, a history of working with a not-for-profit or a company or city government or whatever it is, the opportunities to keep these young people here in San Antonio, which we care about so much, increases dramatically because of this focus that we have on experiential learning. So we're all in on keeping runners here in San Antonio. Dr. Taylor Amy, president of UTSA, thank you so much for taking your time to join us this morning. And of course, for our viewers, you can find the full conversation later on ksat.com this morning. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.